Hello, this quick tip video will show you about all the ways you can do drag and drop in the editor in Vixen 3. I'm using 3.6 update 2 for this, for this demonstration. So um, there's numerous ways in here you can uh, move things around. So I, I've got the, the toolbars configured here for the, for the color palette, the gradient, the, and the curves. Um, you might have those set up as a Docker window uh, in your setup. Uh, the concepts are the same. It works from from either one. So I've got various colors up here and uh, so I can actually take uh, uh, this red color and I can drop it on this uh, effect here and uh, it will change the the color to red and select it for me. So you see now it's red over here in, instead of blue. Um, I can also um, take in, um, if I'm selecting, a, I have a selected effect already, I can take the red and drop it on the color box over here as as well. That works uh, just fine. Um, if I have a, um, a pulse here, so the pulses take, um, I can put uh, a regular color on those for a singular color, or I can drop a, um, a gradient on them and you, and you see the gradient comes in over here. Same way I can drag the, the gradient over there and drop it on, on that as well. Um, works out very well. Um, the, the curves work the same way, so um, if, I, if I want this uh, curve to look like that, I can drop the curve there. Uh, that reshapes the curve. Um, I can also drop the curve directly on the effect, so that works, works well for that. Um, if you have uh, an you know, effect that um, you know, takes multiple curves, so we can go look at... Um, so the alternating effect here takes multiple curves. So when I drop it on here, I get a selection box. And I can drop the curve on the first one if I want. And it puts it in the, the first one here. So, Or I can take and drop the curve directly on it as well. So that way I can manipulate for um, individual ones or, or you know, select it whichever one I want when I drop it on the curve here. The colors work the same way. So if I want to drop a, a color on this, it comes up and prompts me which one I want to put the color on. That works out really, really nice. So it gives you a lot of ways to drag colors, gradients, curves, um, back and forth between between items that uh, that you want. You can also, if I uh, make a, um, a custom gradient here, so if I go in here and create a point here and add some color to it, and create a custom gradient here. So I could take this gradient here and then bring it up here and drop it on the toolbar. And then I can give it a name here. And then it adds that gradient into the library. If you had the Docker windows you know, open, the same thing works there. If you drag and drop it into a Docker window, it will, will create a library for that. That works for the colors, gradients, and curves all the way across the board. You can, you can drag those and create library curves out of uh, individual ones so that you can easily reuse them. So lots of ways to, to drag and drop things there. Uh, the most obvious way to drag and drop uh, is the is the effects. So I can drag any uh, any effect um, out of the toolbar up there and drop it on there. If you had the Docker window over here with the names of the effects, uh, those can be drag and dropped as well from, from there. So multiple places to drag the effects from. Um, there's another um, ways to, um, to get effects into the timeline. So up here I've got a, um, an MP4 of a video and I want to put that on this uh, matrix down here. So I can just take the video itself and, and drag it and drop it where I want on the, on the element that I want. And now you see the, the file name is already filled in. It's set up with the video uh, effect there. And um, if I have the preview on uh, you can see here that that video is playing in the in the default configuration. Um, the same thing works for um, pictures. So I've got a picture here. I'm going to drop it on there. Drops it, creates the picture effect. Um, the picture itself is already in the file name, and uh, it's already on there playing in the video in my preview. So quickly a way to um, to get video and pictures into an effect on the timeline without maybe having to use the the browse uh, function in the in the effect editor itself. So 
that's um that's several different ways there to 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 manage drag and drop of things in the effect editor hopefully that'll um, make things a little bit more efficient for some of you who weren't aware of all the opportunities there